Do you think when you're talking about the aha moments, is Bishop Jake's bringing some God moments in this now? Oh my goodness, God's all up in there. Can't you feel <laughs> God up all in there? Oh, God is all in it. And I, I love hearing the bishop. I have a bishop app. I think I'm the one that said, Bishop, you need an app. Yeah. Uh, I called up because I was, I was, you know, tired of carrying all the tapes around. And so I, I listened to him to restore my soul all the time. So to be able to be in his physical presence, I, you know, I feel illuminated. I feel enlightened and I feel emboldened by being able to be uh, in his presence. I mean, so much so, I'm supposed to be with Stebbin this weekend. I had to call him and say, look, I'm going to have to stay one more day because <laughs> the bishop is preaching tonight. Yes. So you would just have to see me tomorrow. What was that last moment about? We were both doing the ugly cry. The last moment about, uh, the last moment, the ugly cry uh, that connected for me today was Bishop saying, meet your family and mother in particular where they are. So for me, it was understanding that all these years I wanted, you know, my family to be, yeah, and recognizing that I'm the 10 gallon that everybody else has to take their stuff from and that you cannot expect people who are not there to be able to give that to you. And that realization happened to hit me in front of everybody at MegaFest. <laughs> thank you, Oprah. Thank you, thank you. This is important because holes in our heart suggest to us that we are somehow inadequate. We're talking about filling that void begins with relationship, intimacy, giving back, pouring out to somebody that affection and attention. The discipline is an ongoing process. It, if, whether you had a father or didn't, parenting is something that doesn't come with the textbook. You, you learn as you go, and the rules change as they go because you are changing and they are changing, and it's almost like dancing on a moving floor. And I think sometimes we're so afraid that we're not going to do it right that we don't do it at all. Mm -hmm. But we must engage in the process by investing that level of attention and affection. You know what? I think it is amazing, and I don't think it could be in better hands. I think it's a fabulous project, but it, that's what it needed to be put in different hands, and I think this is definitely the home for it. And I'm just honored to be here, you know, my first time here at the Mega Fest, and then to branch out with T.D. Jakes and, and to see this project, you know, come to fruition. And so Megafest is all about faith and family, mm -hmm. and Bishop Jakes brought the Fem Festival in basically to be able to unite everything with faith, yes. family, film, finances. How does it feel to be a part of that project? I love that because us, everything you just mentioned is everything I love and I'm about, and that's the type of upbringing I come from. So I'm all in and all for things like that. So I think it's amazing. Amazing. Well, it's very diverse, you know, like Winnie and Nelson, the story is in, in Africa, everything, and it's our history. It's yes. to me, it's world history. It's above just black history. So that alone brings everyone together, every culture, every race, every age, everyone. It involves all of us. So I have to give that to, you know, just um, their story in itself and, and, and their contribution and the difference that they made. 2013, wow, I'm happy to be here. I mean, I just want to thank God for First, First Lady and Bishop inviting me back. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. Look, in service, woman that I lose. I'm happy to be in church. So, but I'm excited about it. I mean, just to see what God is doing and just to hear about everything else all, all coming together and all the people of God coming together. I'm just excited. 